Aloha YouTube, Doc Rick here, uh, doing a, uh, you actually saw the unboxing of this, if you follow me, so this is the uh, Gerber suspension, I wanted a uh, sus Gerber suspension multi-tool, I wanted to do a um, comparison between multi-tools, now if you EDC like me and a lot of other folks, probably important to carry a multi-tool with you, um, so yeah, I don't have the specs, um, I'm going to just give you a real life, real world uh honest uh opinion or um lost my train of thought the comparison between the multi-tools that i've carried in the past i've carried this one for a while actually uh, again gerber suspension multi-tool 12 tools all in one i'm not going to go ahead and open them all up but just uh list them out so there's a, a needle nose it's spring loaded there's a wire cutter <clears throat> fine edge knife serrated knife saw scissors uh, flathead, screwdriver, um, <clears throat> Phillips, small screwdriver, can opener, bottle opener, and then there's a lanyard hole. I'll turn the jams down a little bit. So yeah, that's the uh, Gerber suspension multi-tool. I'm going to just go ahead and leave that right here. I guess I'll put it away. Also carry this here. It's the uh, Gerber MP600 multi-plier, I guess. The difference between these two is this one, deploy this way. This one you can deploy with one hand. So there's, uh, I guess, locks or buttons. Well, they're buttons that you can press, but you press the two middle ones at the same time, and then you slide the pliers up. Not spring-loaded. Let me just compare the plier heads. So pretty much the same size. Uh, these are more of a needle nose as opposed to this here. But yeah, this one's black. Um, I think these are issued to, uh, I don't know if it's US Army or military, um, all branches. But bottom line is one-handed operation. It is not spring-loaded. And um, you gotta, in order to access the uh, tools, you gotta have the pliers open, whereas this one, you gotta have the pliers closed. So as I open this up, let me go ahead and deploy. So there's a file, um, straight edge knife, and then you've got can opener with a small uh, flathead screwdriver, another bigger screwdriver, and then you got a small, so you got three sizes on the uh, screwdrivers, okay? On the flathead to release, the lock you're going to want to slide this down so you got to deploy the plier in order to use the tools slide the uh, lock mechanism to the locking mechanism to unlock and you can go ahead and close them on the other side so we've got a uh, bottle opener we've got a phillips screwdriver and then we have a serrated saw and then i'm going to go ahead and pull this one out last and then we have a uh, lanyard loop so that we can carry it, uh, put a lanyard on there, okay? And then we also have a ruler that kind of shows in inches. Then this is a Gerber 600. Go ahead and close this up. And that's what it looks like when it's closed. Comparison between the two. There you go. So the 600 is actually a little thinner, but it is longer. Weight-wise, suspension is uh, nine ounces. This is a little lighter. So lastly, so I used to carry this a lot. Then it got heavy. This one I carried minimal. So now what I carry is the Leatherman Skeletal. Size comparison, and then let's go ahead and look at the width, and you can see the difference, the difference between the black one, the 600, and then there's a size difference as well. Now, I carry this every day. There's a belt clip on there as opposed to this doesn't have a belt clip. Suspension, no belt clip as well. So the Skeletool, first of all, you've got a uh, 
little hook. This doubles up as a, a bottle opener as well, but it's a, a carabiner. And then as I deploy the uh, pliers, they're not spring loaded, but there you go. Not as pointed as the needle nose on the suspension. And size comparison, the skeletal is a smaller plier. However, you're gonna have you're gonna uh, trade off, right? Bigger, heavier versus smaller. You're gonna have a smaller, uh, smaller uh, head on the uh, pliers. Now, deployment of the tools. So as I have the plier, I can use the screwdriver. The screwdriver, the bit, it is a bit. So to release it, I have to actually notice that you can't take the bit off with the pliers deployed. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the pliers and then now I have access to I don't have access to any of the tools actually with it deployed with the exception of the knife so here's a knife and that's why I carry this because it's one less thing to carry I used to carry a uh, folder I sometimes still carry the folder but notice that I can deploy the knife one hand and now I can use it as a knife, obviously. The knife is, has some uh, serrations, but then also the flat edge. But defensive wise, I can use this. So if I want a uh, EDC light on that day, I will just carry this, as opposed to this and a knife. So um, yeah, the tool that I can only access with it closed is the knife. It's a liner lock, so in order to close it, press the liner. For me to access the other tools, I'm gonna to have to deploy it. And on the screw driver, so it's a bit, right? So I'm gonna to have to depress this locking mechanism to change the bit. The bit comes in two sizes, so that's the Phillips. And then the flathead is hidden in here. So you're gonna have to kind of stick your finger in there so that you can gain access to the bit and then you can change the bit out for the flathead. The other tools that are in this, I'm worried about losing this, so uh, yeah. So you have the uh, screwdriver, so you have the Phillips, you have the flathead, you have the bottle opener, you've got a wire cutter, you have the plier, you have the lanyard and the knife. So thought process. Carry this on me in pocket every day. Leave this in the car. Carry this in my bag. I like redundancy. And if you know me, pocket, bag, carry this in the car. All right, so there's a comparison. So the comparison is you can't compare it. These two, I guess you can compare these two, but you can't compare it with this because there's more tools, much lighter. You can carry this every day in a pocket. You don't have to carry a folder if you don't, if you don't need to, but in a pinch, you need to carry light, have access to the knife. So yeah, I carry all three, pocket, car, and the bag. So with that, thanks for uh, looking, YouTube. Um, if you found some benefit to this, click on the like, send a comment, follow. Mahalo. Aloha.